Well, Neil, we spoke earlier in the week in Bordeaux and you were left a bit frustrated. Was that performance everything you want from your players? Yeah, the response was incredible. Uh, and for the first game of the tour, uh, it's an outstanding game. You know, we spoke a lot about playing men's teams. Well, that's as tough a game uh, as we've experienced. Uh, and our attitude to the match was incredible. Uh, I was so pleased with many aspects. Uh, the disappointing aspect for the group is the fact that we were 3-1 ahead and had numerous opportunities to kill the game and then they've got back in it with a little bit of quality which they have, uh, they're a really good side but like I said our intensity to the game and the way we pressed them was first class. You mentioned that press that came about with the, the first goal with Gustav. It just goes to show if you, you put the work in, put the work right in, it will fall for you. Yeah, I was I was over the moon for Gustav, uh, not, uh, not seeing the first goal. But al also that is what we put into them before the game. We showed them a few videos about how we could catch them at the top end of the pitch. But it's got when you go in the press, you've got to go in a full press with an intent to win the, the tackle. And he did that. And then he obviously got the ball over the line to get us ahead. And I thought we then grew really into the game uh, and obviously went two up. And the disappointing factor, again, part of the development is not to see out just before half time. Again, second half, I thought Matty Majka, whose energy levels along with Gustav and Laurent at the top end of the pitch really set the tone. Uh, to see him get his goal was fantastic. And like I said, just disappointing not to hang on, but coming on tour, we can't ask much more. Very effective on the counter attack as well in terms of the goals. Drew linked up with Gustav and the third one, Matty getting in. Um, effective in terms of the, the way you went forward with that? Yeah, I thought the game was played at, uh, at really high level of intensity, uh, but you're right, the moments we actually uh, credited for our perspective was when they had a corner kick or a wide free kick, when we defended the first ball and then went on the break on the second ball, some of our speed on the counter, like you said, was fantastic. And it's just, again, continually working at that final pass, final moment to take the scoreline away from the opposition. But as I said, I've got absolutely no complaints with how the group went about it. Bit of momentum now taking to the next two games as well. Yeah, well, that must give the boys so much confidence seeing our work with and without the ball. And I think that we can still improve on the ball, but the, the speed of the game uh, and playing men's football, it's exactly what we want and we'll take that on obviously to Wednesday uh, but that's the level of game we want when we come on tour especially and um, as I said I'm, I'm really happy You mentioned the level of the game so many different experiences in that game with the, the goals and then obviously with, with the referee things like that um, it just it kind of gives them a whole wide range of experiences doesn't it? Yeah I said that to them at the end you know that moments that we spoke about with halftime when we've dominated the game to see out the first half 2-0 ahead the moments when we're 3-1 up to be ruthless and finish the game off the moments where when it's 3-2, can we hang on to it? We didn't. We obviously let them back in with the free kick to 3-3. But we showed real character towards the end. And to be fair to our group, I didn't think we got involved in, in all the shenanigans that was going on at the end. I think it was their bench that was obviously very forthright in that. But as I said, really happy with the group.